On the steps of the U.S. Senate on Tuesday, members of J Street, a liberal American lobbying group that says it's pro-peace and pro-Israel, urged lawmakers to reject President Donald Trump's nominee for U.S. ambassador to Israel. They say David Friedman, a bankruptcy lawyer with close ties to the Israeli right-wing settlers movement, is an obstacle to a two-state solution. We are worried that um, the confirmation of David Friedman would send a signal that the Trump administration um, intends to pursue an extreme uh, course when it comes to Israeli-Palestinian conflict that abandons traditional bipartisan U.S. support for the two-state solution. Earlier this month, in hosting the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Trump strayed from what had been long-standing White House policy. I'm looking at two state and one state, and I like the one that both parties like. I'm very happy with the one that both parties like. An ambiguity slammed by a man who had hoped to be president. The casual manner in which President Trump appeared to abandon the two-state policy was extremely concerning, but also unfortunately typical of the carelessness with which he has managed American foreign policy thus far. It was a sentiment echoed by a man who had hoped to be the Israeli prime minister and still does. I tell you, don't give up. All moderate forces in Israel and in the United States, especially in the Jewish community, should work proactively to pursue the option of the two-state solution, thus preserving the well-being and security of the state of Israel forever. Both men were addressing the annual gathering of J Street, set up during the Obama years as an alternative to the powerful pro-Israel lobby APAC, viewed as more hawkish. J Street's more dovish platform allows for speeches from Palestinian officials as well. We are ready to engage this administration based on mutual respect, international law, long-standing U.S. positions that, does, that do not condone or support settlement activities. Palestinian officials in Washington say so far this administration hasn't approached them or even consulted with them. That silence may speak volumes on the direction that this administration will be taking on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Rui Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.